Hello everyone, welcome to Evangelina's Craft. Today, I'm going to share with you how to make a uh, birthday card or a greeting card that's made out of black cardstock. Not oftentimes do we use black for cards, but there is a beautiful way to use uh, black cardstock as your base card and pattern black cardstock for the base card. Anyway, before we proceed, here are some die cuts that I'm gonna use to play around. This is uh, this piece over here is the die cut for this one. There you go. And the leaves are uh, these are the pieces, these are the cutouts for that particular die cut. And we have this one too for this pieces. And uh, another die cut I was gonna use is for that one. And over here is a bench for that one too. And some uh, leaves also made out of this die cut. Now other than this one, I'm gonna also use uh, some um, stickers from the Dollar Tree. And uh, see that this one is like, it's some uh, stickers that has a background of black. So that will be nice to use for a black card stock or a black greeting card. So I will gonna play around with these stickers and use them for the card I'm going to make. And there you and there have some pieces here. These are all from the Dollar Tree. I bought one, uh, one like this for a dollar. And there you are. And then uh, with the card, I'm going to, as I said, here are the pieces that I'm going to use for the card. I'm going to make a seafood card out of it. I'm going to show you in a little while how to make a seafood card. This is going to be my base card and my pattern, uh, my uh, pattern paper for the base card is I'm going to use color black. So, I'll show you how to make a seafood uh, card. The, the seafood card is the most one that I wanted to do because in a seafood card, you can put a lot of decorations. So here's how to uh, make a seafood card. You have to cut your card stock by 5 by 11. So this is 5 inches over here and this is the 11 lengthwise. So normally, normally you get a card stock that is 8 by 11. So all you have to do is cut uh, one back, uh, one base card, and one, and um, cut another one, which I decided to make my pattern paper as a plain black, and this is my, and uh, cut it just the same, five inch by 11 inches. Then you have to cut another two pieces of uh, one and a half. By 11, see, this is this one and a half inch by 11 inch. So, this is gonna be your one in one and a half inch, and this is the same thing as the, your length is 11. So, cut also two pieces of them. Now, how to make a C fold card your um, five by 11 piece of cardstock, you fold it in the middle this way, fold it in the middle, and it makes two. And then once folded, you fold another one in the middle that makes another fold here. So you're gonna score, it's, you, you can score it or it's much easier if you just have to fold it. So that's gonna be a C fold card now, see? That's the card and once you open it's gonna be that one. And the same thing with this one, with this piece. Uh, with this piece, Fold it in half that way and fold it in half again this way. So so that when you attach this, you're gonna attach this one here and then attach the other one here. So that's how, how it's gonna uh, look like. You know, you close it like this way and then you're gonna open it this way. Okay? 
that that's why I uh, ask you to do another two sizes of each of, uh, of two different cardstock is because this is what I'm going to use as my uh, pattern paper so I didn't measure anymore I just sort of uh, want to um, just eyeball it you know you doesn't you really don't need to uh, measure when you're using where you're putting some uh, base card on your paper all you need to do is to um, mark so this is your fold here you know you have a fold here you have a fold and you want to put a pattern on top of it so what you just do is um, just put a mark there I hope you can see it there and put a mark on the side here See, I just put a mark there this is where I am uh, going to cut it here and just put a mark somewhere here so we're gonna cut it with a with your uh, cutter or this scissors or whatever you have that you can use to cut the paper and then on the thing that I marked at I'm gonna cut it again on the other side there and that's gonna be your pattern paper for your first for the base card see and that's gonna look this way so it, it doesn't matter you don't have to uh, measure the pattern paper just eyeball it much easier I do it that way and I have some pieces that already I have pre-cut just the same do that one that's gonna be there and for the bigger one that's gonna be there that's how it's gonna look like and for this piece here Just the same thing, just eyeball it. You know, you don't need to uh, measure. It's much faster. There. And there. So in my next video, you'll see how everything's gonna turn out. Uh, making a greeting card out of a black background. Okay? Here is the um, finished cards that I make out of those Dollar Tree stickers that you can place it on a black background cardstock. So this is the one that I made. And this is a C-fold card and when you open it this way, and that's gonna ha that's, that's how it's gonna look like. There. Sorry for the glare. So those are a C fold card you can put your message here and uh, see how it turns out uh, it's nice using a pattern paper that is black as its background okay and then actually I made three of them this is the second one that I made I said Feliz Campeonios and then when you uh, and that's how it's, it that, that's how it looks like now the finished card it's a seafold card again okay, when you open it and then you close it that way and then the last one that I made is this one and when you open it it's it's a uh, and then again you can put the message you can put a message here you know you can use a uh, white marker or a silver that can be written in black paper or you can put your uh, little message here at the back so those are the three ones that I made We'll try that way and that way so hope you uh, like what I made for my cards and uh, try them and until my next project I'll see you guys again bye for now